Okay, here we are. We are ready to do the inside covers of our box. <clears throat> so in this video, we're going to do the inside front and back covers. In the next video, we are going to build the box. And in the last video, we are going to do the easel front cover and these really cool sliding things. So on those, what it is, is it's going to be, it's going to look like a little pocket, a little, a little envelope. And then when you lift up the, the flap on it, you can pull it and another uh, photo spot will open up that will also open up. So then you'll close it, slide it back in, close the flap. And on the back will be a pocket. <clears throat> um... Yep, so let's go ahead and get started. I did notice on here that I did not put our base page, which we are going to need. So we are going to need another piece. We're going to need two. That is eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter. And this is what we're going to build our front pocket on. And then we will attach this to the inside of our box. <clears throat> so... First, we need that. Again, eight and a quarter by 10 and a quarter. That won't need any score lines. And then, let's go ahead and score our pieces. <clears throat> so A is going to be seven and a half by seven. And we are going to score at a half an inch on the left, the bottom, and the right. This is going to be our first front pocket. So half on the left, half on the bottom, <clears throat> and half on the right. Okay. And this is going to be the same. I really don't like it when I don't write on things. Inside front cover A. All right, so half an inch on the left, half on the right, and nope, the bottom. And now half on the left. And then we need two of B, which is six and a half by 11. I don't know where we're going to, we're, we're missing another score line on here and we're just not gonna know until we start putting it together. So first off, we're just gonna score at a half an inch on the bottom. Okay, so we have two of these, but on one of them, let's go ahead and score at five eighths as well. We're going to need a, you know, guess it on this one. So we're at half an inch and on one half and five eighths. Okay. So let's bring out our pieces A. We're gonna go ahead and knock off those corners. Sometimes it's better to look at it with the hump side up especially on this craft paper. Okay. And here we can decide where we're gonna put that second score. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and fold our flaps.
that's no fun. How did I do that wrong? Oh. Fiddle. Scored the wrong side. It's okay. So what we need to do first to fix our whoopsie. See, we ended up doing it seven by seven and a half, which makes this piece a half an inch too long. So we're just gonna cut off a half an inch. So instead of these being six and a half, we're gonna make them six and one quarter. No, we're not. Oh, we're gonna make them six. Flip. Nothing like making a mistake right out the bat, isn't it? Is it? Okay, so to review, A is seven by seven and a half. And we're scoring at a half an inch, a half an inch, and a half an inch. And B is actually six by 11. We are scoring one at a half an inch at the bottom and the other one at a half an inch and five eighths. This will be our front pocket. And this one will be our back pocket because we'll need the gusset on the front. about that. So what we need to do next is decide where we want our score line to be for the top. Let's score it at three from the top. Okay. And three on the top. So we're gonna take both of these So now we have our B's that we've already cut once. Six here, 11 here. We are going to score both of them at three inches from the top. So we'll go ahead and score our lines down here at the bottom. This is the one that has the half inch and the five eighths.
Okay, so let's go ahead and glue our pockets. No, let's don't. So one thing we need to figure is our, our pockets are so deep that if we put small things in there, we're gonna have a hard time getting them out. So when we fold our lid down, we have to here. So I'm gonna suggest we do a V so that we have room to pull things out. Yeah. So we're gonna do that on both of these. And we can do that with scissors. We can do hard things. Um, hold on. The easiest way I think to do this is if you have one of these, some people use them for quilting, um, sewing. I've used them sometimes in my scrapbooking, <clears throat> but this is gonna help us get our angle, maybe. No. Let's see. One, two, let's go down. We are going down two inches and a half. So we're going to do our, we're going to make a mark at two and a half inches from the top. Okay, here's one inch, here's two inch, here's half. And I am going to do that on both pieces. This one's crooked. Nope. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find our halfway point. So this is six across. So we're going to make a mark at three. Is our pocket. I know I'm clear as mud today, aren't I? I came down two and a half inches and I drew this line straight across. Then I went over three because that's our halfway point and I put a mark and our V is going to go from here to here and from here to here. And that should give us a perfect V for this pocket. I can't do this on my cutter because it's, I don't have a, a clear stopping point like you do on just the, uh, on the ones that have these kinds of blades. So if you have one of those slidey ones, you can probably do this with that. <clears throat> so I am going to out my exacto knife and I'm going to go from that three inch center part and cut up to the point to the to the top edge corner that's the word okay I'm going to do the same thing on the other side
There we go. And now we'll have a good place so we can pull things out. our second piece A and do the exact same thing. And if you're going to be messing with your exacto knife, using a metal part of your ruler is best because I have cut into the plastic before. make a template for how I'm going to want to cut this out. <clears throat> so I am going to grab just a plain piece of paper. I'm going to line this up top to bottom. So now I've got my angle, and whenever I'm ready, I can take my ruler, and I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. I'll do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to bring it in a little bit on the sides. So the outside lines, that was our original pocket. And the inside is what I will use when it is time to cut my decorative paper. That way I'm not trying to figure it out. And there it is. So if this was our decorative paper, there it is. So now we have a little template for when it's, it's time to cut out that paper. 
I need things for myself. So I'm going to put this actually in here so I don't lose it. When I'm done with my pages, I've shown you all my little thing. I put them back in just so it holds. Keeps everything right where it needed to be. <clears throat> all right. So now we are going to glue our pockets down onto the front of our part B's. Remember, just like we've done on our braided pockets, we want that hinge to match. Match our angle. All right, I'm going to take my bottom left point, line it up. Follow it along the bottom and then up the sides. See, it hides our point, but when you open it up, you have room to grasp those things. Because if you were to put a, oh, come on. A um, four by six picture in here. It would have been hidden in there and you'd have had a hard time fishing them out. So we're going to put our magnets right here. So that'll keep that down. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Are you not? I am. We need buns. We have tomatoes, we have onions. I think that's all we need. We need pork. We need pork and we have two left over, but if you want to make more so that we oh. have more, then we need pork and beef. No, I'll just have those two. Are they in the freezer still? No, they're in the sink. Pork. I'm a smart one sometimes. So buns, and that's it? Yeah. You're good. Where are we going? Okay, so now we got our magnets. Ouch. My husband's going to the grocery store. That's what he was in here about. And I don't know about you, but whenever your husband says he will go to the grocery store, I don't care what I'm doing. You tell them what you need. Because I don't have to go to the grocery store. Woohoo! That's a happy day. That is a happy day. All right, ladies. <clears throat> so I'm just putting these on here. This is going to come down to this line. So I think if we just put them right here in these two... And the two slants, I think, will be good. I'll still have room to do a corner punch if I want. Actually, we probably ought to do that first. Uh, let's see. What paper am I using? Oh, 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 I know what I want. Hold on. I know, you've been holding through this whole thing, haven't you?
It's been a discombobulated kind of a week, ladies. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. So I have this. It's an old Fiskars. I don't think they make them like this anymore. It is nice. And so it's got this little, almost like a bracket. So usually if I'm going to use this, because it's hard to then do the decorative paper, I will use this one on my base paper. And then I will use a half inch. And this one just does a... Where's the scrap? Where's the scrap? This one just does a... Well, it's just a corner rounder, a half inch corner rounder. And it'll fit right in there. But I have done it times before where I have put the paper in it so that it looked like that. Because you have that little hole there. See? So anywho. There. My scrap. So I've done my corners. I promise I'm going to get back on task today. Where are we? Yes. <clears throat> now I can put my magnets on. It has been... A busy week. Um, one of my dearest friends had a little girl on Thursday. She failed her hearing and jaundice test, but they sent her home and um, they're going to retest her on Monday. I made that too big. It's hanging over the edge. Um, so, sending healing thoughts and prayers to them. But that was very exciting. She's been, she, she, the little girl, has a absolutely fabulous older brother who is three, and I adore him. We like to text message each other. He'll get on his mama's phone. And we really just send emojis and sometimes silly pictures back and forth to each other. But to he and I, it's a huge conversation. So, anywho, we've had that day. I had another friend whose daughter was in a local pageant. She's a six-year-old. <clears throat> So I got to do some crafting at work to help her get something ready. And my parents, knock on wood, have not tried to harm themselves this week on accident. For those of you just now listening and haven't heard all the other conversations, just by accident. They don't do it on purpose. <sighs> but they accidentally do the dumbest things. And I love them. But I need them to stop at the same time. So, there is... This is our pocket that's going to go on the front. So, we're going to put this front. And by front... I didn't even tell you what we're doing, did I? I am so sorry. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We are making two pockets. And they're going to be like this. And this one's going to flip down, and you'll be able to see this one. And then you'll be able to flip, flip this one down, and there will be a spot for a photo mat. That's what we're doing. Double flip pockets. <sighs> All right. So, on to the second one. This is the one that does not have the 5-8 score line down here. <clears throat> I have had 
This is my first spring since I was diagnosed with asthma. And I have had where is it? Three attacks this week. And I've been doing really good all fall and winter. And yeah, so it's been a, a rough week breathing. And we have this delightful lady at our where we work. She is our custodian. She used to be in the pre-K and kindergarten custodian, but moving tables and all that stuff is a bit much on her. So she now she's up there with just us. So it's really just trash cans and vacuuming. And uh, which was her choice. She wanted to move there. And I love her dearly. And she loves me dearly. But as I'm having an attack on Wednesday, and it was in the time of the afternoon when she's there, I'm just sitting there trying to breathe, and she keeps yelling, Do you need a CPAP? Do you need a CPAP? And I can't answer her because I'm trying to calm myself down so that I can breathe because panicking in an asthma attack is almost worse than the attack, what caused it. So she's standing there, my boss came out, and she's like, do we need to call somebody? And, and all these people are asking me questions because they care, and I do appreciate that. I really do. But my uh, friend who sits next to me, she finally cleared them all out and said she needs to not talk. And I'm pointing at my nose and pointing at her because she's got it right on the nose. That's what I, I, I need to not talk. <laughs> and she did finally tell that sweet lady, no, she doesn't need a CPAP. <clears throat> so she came back shortly after asking me if I need a CPAP. And I said, no, I can, I can breathe in the oxygen. That's not the problem. The problem is the, the vice grips that my lungs decide to turn into. So, I just thought it was, it just tickled me, you know, after the crisis was over. That she, she just kept yelling, do you need a CPAP? <laughs> oh, God love her. But she loves me and cares. So I can't do much. Or say much, I should say. I take care of her, bring her my leftovers. Share lunch with her. I just need her to not scream, do I need a CPAP whenever I'm having an attack? And nobody had a CPAP machine. That's what I couldn't figure out is if I did, we were really going to be up a creek because nobody had one of those. And I do have a little portable nebulizer. And I actually prefer it to my big one because it's silent. And I have done a treatment while driving down the road before. Um, I wasn't in busy traffic. It was a straight four-lane turnpike road. And I wasn't in the middle of an attack. It was a... See, I just sound like a horrible person now, don't I? It was a... Um, I could feel it coming on. So I was pre preempting it. Anywho. Anywho. I've talked too much. She was not confusing my nebulizer for a CPAP machine. She uses a CPAP. So, anywho... I am loved, and you cannot be upset about that. Um, my portable nebulizer, though, it is tiny. What do I have it do? I'm carried in my cute little case. Look at that. See how tiny that is? And you just put this on front and breathe away. So, anyhow. Now you've learned way more than you needed to. But if you happen to need a portable nebulizer or know somebody who does, 
and it does come with a child's mask. So it has an adult mask and a child's mask to go on the front. You just leave a message in the comments and I will send you the Amazon link. It was 40 bucks. And that thing has saved my life more times than my big nebulizer has. Because, you know, you don't normally... My home is a controlled environment, so I don't normally have that issue in my home as much as I do out at work. Because that day all I did was go and open the front door for somebody and, you know, that sent me into respiratory distress apparently. So, we have done our pockets. We have them with magnets. The corners are cut. We are done making mistakes on these. Ah, my husband's going to the grocery store. So, next thing we need to do is we have our big chunk of paper here that's the eight and a quarter by a ten and a quarter. And we need to cover it with some decorative paper before we put our pockets down. Okay? Um... Yeah, let's do that first. I may do the hidden the hidden hinge on this one. I don't know. I need to figure that out. We might as well, right? If you haven't seen me do that before, then uh, you'll get to learn something new. So we'll go ahead and do that. So if it was at 10 and a quarter, we're going to cut at 10 and at 8. Okay. Oh, perfection. Now, before I glue this down, we are going to decide where. Why isn't that sticking? There it is. It is. It is. I'm just paranoid. <sighs> So this is gonna be our first pocket. So we're gonna decide where to put it. And I'm gonna to try to do it evenly on both sides. And I am going to do it about three fourths of an inch from the top because I still need to, nope, nope, we're not. We're gonna do it an inch from the top and we'll be an inch from the bottom. So, And I'm going to do it by using my little grid on my thing here. This is six. So this is going to be an inch, an inch, and an inch. And that is where we are going to line it up. Yeah, close enough. Sorry, my, my screen wasn't moving, so I thought, oh my God, I've frozen. I talked too much. And now I'm going to get my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to cut along the bottom, not of my pocket. I'm going to cut the sheet below it. And I got to go past just a scrimmagin, okay? And now, that is where I'm gonna put my little hinge inside there. See? And we're gonna go ahead and uh, slap some glue down there. And all this is doing is just, it's its giving it a cleaner look. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can stack it right on top of that paper like we normally would and glue it down. Um, but I, I do this sometimes. And I figured especially this time because I'm going to be able to fold this down. And this could be a whole photo. We could put a whole photo right here and it would be completely covered up and I'm not having to worry about this hinge at the bottom. So see now that looks nice and clean. Boom. All right, so now we're going to do our next one. 
And this one I wanna make sure is one inch from the bottom. So I'm gonna line it up on the sides and I am gonna put it approximately an inch from the bottom. Right, so now I'm all uniform. I'm, I'm set up on the sides. I'm all even on the sides. I'm about an inch from the bottom and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. This one on the top is the one that has the gusset. And I'm gonna go back past it a little bit. I gotta start a little bit past it because we need to make sure that we have got plenty of room for it to fit that, fit that paper in there and not just start tearing. So then I'm going to slide my little hinge in. Make sure we are even on the front. And then I will turn it over and glue it down. Okay. Why does this keep clogging? Oh, serenity now. There we go. So now I have got that glued down. Turn it over, lift it up, make sure that it is all the way in there and smush it down. My husband was so cute. He kept just standing there at my door and he's just looking at me. So I thought he was just, I don't know, looking at me. <laughs> I look like a hot mess today. And then he left and then he came back. <laughs> oh, I love him. He is truly my favorite person. All right, so for this, I think... I am going to put two magnets here that will hold this up. Yeah. So I've turned this upside down, get my magnets and my tape. Oh, will it fit there? Oh, <gasps> snickerdoodle. Let's do that. So we've paired that. And the reason why I don't, I like layering them sometimes. Oh, see, we can fit a whole picture here too. The reason why I like layering them is because when you start putting all your paper on, it does weaken that magnet. But when you've got them doubled up below, it makes it stronger and you're going to get a better grip. Strength in numbers. All right, so now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that this isn't pulling up on the bottom. Make sure you are straight. Good deal. Let's do the next one. So am I making it a bit bulky? Yeah. But listen to that snap. Ooh. Sometimes I just like to listen to the magnets snap. The first book I ever made, I thought, mm, I'm not gonna mess with a magnet because I didn't know if I was gonna like it. My daughter just wanted a book. And instead of just doing a regular scrapbook, I had to, you know, find something that was going to be unique and amazing for her. I had never seen these before. So I wasn't going to mess with buying magnets and all that stuff. I was just, you know, we'll figure that part out. It'll be fine. Well, I, sh I went back later on and 
put magnets in her book <laughs> the best way I could um, because I just, I loved that snap. And the first book I ever made, because I apparently am not afraid of a challenge or was too dumb to think about what I was doing, was uh, Rosa Kelly. She does tutorials on YouTube as well. Um, she had a Alice in Wonderland book that she did. And it's like a master class, but I did it. It took me a smooth month and a half of working evenings and weekends because I kept having to rewind and rewatch, and I screwed up. I don't know how much. I probably bought six kits of paper for that one book, but I did it, and then I was hooked. And that was... 2020, uh, December of 2020. I am going to tape this down because where we have that, we're going to have this little gap here, so I'm just going to tape it down. Help it remember to stay with its friends. Okie dokie. Now we are ready to slap this bad boy down on our backing paper. Look how fun that is. And then you'll be able to open this up, slip your goodies in, take it down. And here we have a huge photo mat lifted up. Oh my goodness, there's a mole place. Boom. Look what you've done. Despite all of my messing up at the beginning. And when I put this stuff down, I do like to use my big tape. I don't trust that little one. I know I say it all the time. I do trust the big one, the wider tape. So the weather this past week in Oklahoma wasn't that bad, except that Friday we had 60 to 70 mile hour winds and they had huge wildfires popping up all over the state. I think they said a dozen homes burned. But with the wind blowing the way it was, it was moving the grass fires 300 to 400 feet a minute. That is crazy. Um, but our sweet friends in Arkansas, they got hit pretty bad. Um, I know Kentucky's had some problems. Um, I believe they got hit with a tornado as well. They're saying that Tornado Alley, instead of it being straight down the middle of the United States, is now moving further to the, the north. The, well... Not north, the southeast. And I hate that for our friends over there. I really do. Because it's been, I mean, we've just had them here in Oklahoma since I was born. I've been through two. One in a cellar and one in a ditch. I prefer the cellar. Um, yeah. So... I hope everybody there is okay. A lot of our PSO, our, our electric company. Now we're going to just put this down on here, my dears. Uh, they were on their way out to go help in Kentucky. And now I do want to show you. See how I'm off up here? That is going to be okay because this is going to be sitting on this same colored paper. So it's all right. Um, they were headed out to help in Kentucky yesterday and in Little Rock and had to come back because our, our wildfires were just out of control. We had, I think, 100,000 people without power. It was a hot mess. Um, yeah, so spring is here. All right, so there is our front inside cover. 
I am going to stop this video because it is already at 50 minutes because I was so discombobulated. And for that, I apologize. I get off track sometimes. I take the exit ramp and then I have to be reminded to get back onto the highway with my conversations. <sighs> that is just me. So, I promise in the next video we will do the inside back cover. And I will not stop to talk about my asthma and show you nebulizers and fun stuff like that, okay? So, I will see you in the next video for the inside back cover. Toodaloo!